Hey sis, welcome back to my channel. It's your favorite business coach, Coach Jelena, and I'm here with another video for you. Now this video was a super highly requested video for me to do, and in today's video, as you can see from the title, we're gonna talk about how to accurately price your products in order to profit efficiently. So if you're out there and you're making the rookie move with just doubling your wholesale prices and creating your price structure off of that, I'm here to help you because let me tell you that is not how it is done. So the topic for today's video is going to be how to price your products to accurately profit, learning about markup percentages, and how to pick the appropriate markup percentage that caters directly towards your business. And lastly, go over the equation slash formula to figuring out your new price structure. But before we get started in this video, I want you guys to go ahead and like this video and comment below if you want my next video to be about how to accurately pay yourself as a business owner through your business financial gains so if you want that video make sure you comment below I'll only do that video if I get enough comments below and lastly I do have a digital guide that goes hand in hand with this video that goes further into depth about incorporating the shipping cost your website maintenance fees packaging business subscriptions pre-ordering drop shipping and ordering on demand into your price structure as well and for a bonus I do have example equations in the price to profit digital guide for those of you who are more visual learners and by incorporating all of those things into your actual price structure it allows your business to run itself so it's really important to be knowledgeable on how to price your products and incorporate your business maintenance fees and your vendor shipping prices and all that good stuff into your price structure so that you being the business owner will never have to come out of pocket for your business and it allows your business to pretty much runs itself so if you're out there and after this video if you do want the price the profit it will be linked right in my description box for you to go ahead and check out but other than that we're just going to jump right into this video so in order to accurately price your products there's a few key terms that i'm going to use throughout this video and i want you guys to understand everything to its entirety so the first key term that I want you guys to instill in your head is COG, C-O-G, and that stands for the cost of goods. The next key term that I want you guys to instill in your beautiful brain is markup percentage. Now, if you do not know what a markup percentage is, it is the percentage that you want or need your business to profit per product, per service. So those are the two key terms that I wanted to talk about in this particular video. In the price to profit guide, there's a few more key terms because it does get a little more intense once you start incorporating shipping and vendor costs and website maintenance and all that good stuff but for the sake of this video we're only going to talk about those key terms so the next thing that i want to get into is markup percentage safe zones so as we already talked about the markup percentage is the percent you want or need in order for your business to profit so the safe zone is always going to be 50 percent because that's essentially just doubling the cost of your vendors prices and that's not something that we want to bring into 2022 or 2023 and so forth but if you don't know where to start always start at 50 percent now due to my own personal experience a sweet spot for me is always 68%. Now all of this will make sense in two seconds. Give it a chance. Now 68% was my personal sweet spot. Everybody else percentages are going to change and I'm going to show you guys essentially how to pick the correct percentage for you. Now along with my own personal experience as well, anything over 85% markup is too high for me and i want these markup percentages to resonate the lower your markup percentage is ultimately means the less you profit the higher it is means the higher your prices are going to be yes you'll profit more but you'll kind of be out of the ballpark as far as having really expensive prices compared to more so affordable prices. So we've already talked about some key terms. We've already talked about my thoughts on the markup percentages and my personal sweet spot being 68%, but no more than 85%. 
Now the next thing that we're going to discuss is the actual formula to creating this price structure. And how this formula essentially works is you're taking the cost of your goods, so your vendor wholesale price, dividing that by 100, subtracting that by the markup percentage, and then multiplying that by 100. Now I know numbers are getting thrown at you and all that good stuff, but I'm here to break it down a little bit for you to make it a little bit easier. And by you doing that formula, it's going to give you your new price structure or your price per piece of product that you offer for your business. So here's the example I'm gonna give you. Imagine if you're ordering from your vendor, we're talking about hair here, and let's say your hair supplier prices their 18 inch body wave bundle for 24 bucks. That's the wholesale price. $24 is the wholesale price. If your markup percentage, and we're just gonna keep it simple for a second, if your markup percentage is 50%, after you do the equation and plug it into the equation, the equation is going to equal 48, which means your new resale price for that one piece of product would have to be $48. And that's essentially doubling it. And that's why I'd say 50% is the sweet spot. You do not want to go under 50% because you won't even be making back the actual cost of the product. And that's, we don't want that. So that's the first example I'm going to give you. Now the second example, which is a little more intermediate, is going to be if we use that same equation. So let's say your vendor has an 18 inch body wave and they retail it for 24 bucks. Now if you take a new markup percentage being 68%, which is my sweet spot, after the equation it's going to equal 75, which means your new resale price for that one piece of hair is going to be $75. And the cool thing about markup percentages is not everyone is going to have the same markup percentage. Just because my percentage is 68 because I want my target audience to be more so affordable. Maybe you have high end products and you want your markup percentage to be 74%. But it's going to take time for you to actually figure out your markup structure because you then need to actually sit down and formulate the formula that I did just give you with different markup percentages to see what your new price structure looks like and what works for your business. So Essentially, I'm giving you guys the formula, but it's up to you to figure out essentially which markup percentage that you want to use. And the goal is to just try out different markup percentages in the actual equation and figure out which price point works for you and your business. If you want to be more affordable, I'll say stay under 70 4%, but if you want to be a little more high end, go above 74%, but try not to go above 85% because at that point you're reaching, in my opinion, outrageous numbers to pay for hair and beauty merchandise. And like I said, if you do want to incorporate shipping prices, your vendor shipping prices, website maintenance fee services that happen monthly, packaging, pre-ordering, drop shipping, ordering on demand, I do recommend you to get the price to profit digital guide. And also if you need a little more assistance because you're a visual learner, I also recommend you downloading that guide as well. It has tons of equations that are broken down for you so you can figure out essentially how to formulate your price structure actually looking at example breakdown but other than that if you did like this video make sure you thumbs it up let me know how this formula is helping you in the comment section other than that I love you guys and I will see you guys in my next video Mwah.